Okie dokie. So what I've decided to do, thanks to Colin, and Colin, if I don't know how many videos this will take, but maybe you can um, write down questions when you watch this. I'm going to start over from my death, and I'm going to go into a lot more detail um, through all the different places that I went and um, see if we can get some clarity from the beginning. And I don't know how long I'll talk with each video. I'll just talk until I'm done, just like I always do. All right, so for those of you who don't know, I worked myself too hard for too long. There's no great story about how I died. Um, I was overworked and underrested in many, many ways, overstressed. Had an ulcer, the ulcer perforated. I had pneumonia. The infection got into my body. I went into septic shock. They found me next to my bed in a, a coma. Went into the hospital. I was in a coma for almost a month. I died a couple of times according to the records and came back and here we are. Okay, that's the story of my death. Everybody wants to know how I died. I don't know why, but since that is the least important of all of everything that I had happened to me, um, I wish it was a more exciting story, but it isn't. So it is what it is. There, that's why I died. Okay, so I do not rem I remember the night before, and I remember telling Stephanie, I knew I was sick. Uh, yeah, Arian here. I knew I was really, really sick. And I told Stephanie that if it didn't get better the next morning, that I would go to the ER. And uh, I didn't make it through the night. Huh. Did end up in the ER, though. And it was technically morning, so I guess I held my word, <laughs> in a way. All right, so uh, I don't remember um, when I died exactly, I mean precisely, but I do know that I was in the ER at the time. And the reason that I remember this is I remember um, leaving my body. And, you know, I haven't talked about the exact of this, but I left, I, you know, I came out of my body and it was very, very easy. I didn't have a pop or anything. And I was very, very aware that there was a consciousness in my body and my body was going to be fine. I just knew that. Um, I knew that however it ended up, whether it was dead body or live body, everything was going to be fine with that body. That when I left, the body and I understood each other in some way. Now, that was the beginning of the journey, so I didn't even know what that meant at the time. But I do remember being separating from the body and having an instant knowingness that the body, what was going to happen with the body and what was going to happen with the part of me that came out of the body that I didn't quite understand at that time, that we were fine. Both of us were going to be fine no matter how it worked out. Now, then I definitely kind of stayed right, hovering barely outside the body for a little while. Um, kind of getting my my feet under me, I guess. Kind of going, uh, kind of like a child looking around after walking outside for the first time and looking around and going, whoa, and stretching my legs real big and stretching my arms real wide and kind of going, oh, you know, it's kind of coming out of a very cramped place is what it felt like. It felt like I was unfolding and unfolding and unfolding again and again and again and again. And that just kept getting bigger and bigger as time went by because I was still in time, linear time at that time. Now, when I first came out of my body, I remember it was dark. It was black. I didn't see anything. Um, but I don't think I was looking for anything at the time. And then at a certain point when I unfolded to a certain amount, then I looked around. Um, and I'm using human terms because I was not in a human body. I was not in a human form at that time. I was more energy at that time. But I'm going to use human terms because it's the only thing I've got. So, I, and I do remember looking around, but it was more like I could see everything at once. And everything kind of came into focus. So it was more like I came out of my body into the all that is, into what you all would say source, and then pulled myself back 
to where my body was. So it was almost, when I left my body, I went to source immediately. Probably the equivalent of my body died at that moment, whenever we had an exchange and I left the body. Because I, I died technically, according to the, according to the um, records, I think about three times. And I'm pretty sure that was the first one. And it was, uh, yeah, that, and that's whenever I went kind of, I, and I would say black, but it wasn't just black. It was, it was black that had light in it. <laughs> this is so, it's like a prismy black. <laughs> it was black and light and everything at once. So when I left my body, I went and merged immediately at that point with everything, all the all that is. I removed myself from the body, from the game, from everything and merged back into all it is. And kind of stretched out and expanded out and got myself back to who I really was. And then very quickly I f went back into being right above my body. I mean right inches like here. I was right above my body. Facing my body. So uh, and looking down into my body's eyes. And I could tell that I was dead at that moment, but there was a piece about that, that it was okay. And then I pulled up, and everybody else in the room, I started being able to see see them around. And, of course, I was in the ER, and I worked the ER, so they were doing what ER people do. They were trying to save my life, and they did a very good job. And I gradually pulled up higher and higher and higher, Till I was basically floating on the ceiling because it was the best vantage point. And I watched them for quite a while, really. Um, I didn't feel anything. Uh, I have to say that the only feeling that I had in the whole experience was more remembering and excitement about remembering about being home. It was more like being home. Relief and remembering, but it was a relief in a good way, not a bad way. It was a relief like, of course, I knew I'd be back. So it wasn't this big, I didn't get hit with this big thing that I've heard other people talk about through third person, in that, oh my God, I get hit with this overwhelming love and bliss. No, to me, it was like, oh yeah, okay, now I'm home. I remember. It was more like I remember, and oh, what a relief to be home. Um, that's more what it was like for me. It wasn't a shock, or a, or a, it didn't bring tears to my eyes or anything like that. It was, it was more like, uh, it was more like expanding and going home. And um, then when I got home, which I'll talk about in a minute because there was a process of getting home. But once I got home, it was just like, oh, yeah, I'm home. And I just wanted to run around and be free in my home. I wanted to do what I normally did. And that's exactly what I did. But it took a while to get home. Huh? Because I went, like I said, I merged with source. All that is is what I say, right out of the body. And then I came back. And then, you know, I started watching and uh, watching what happened. And they brought the body, my body back to life. I watched that it was stabilized. And again, it was no big surprise. It was almost like, of course, because we did, it was like my body and I knew that was going to happen anyway. So although it was dead at the time I left, and it was dead for a while, we knew that they'd bring it back. And I guess I s sat there watching to see you know, how long it would take me to bring, to bring me back, the body back, and make sure the, I don't know, maybe make sure the body was okay. There might be a hint of that, even though I knew that it was going to be fine. Um, maybe curiosity from that standpoint, there may have been a touch of that. Uh, but eventually the body was fine and I got bored. So then I raised up even more. And I very I moved very fast. Um, I moved outside and watching the whole planet. And once I stepped outside of the whole planet, I had unfolded enough and remembered enough that um, that I could look around the planet. And I started playing with the planet. And I think I've said this before. It is, I would 
uh, zoom in and see what the experience was from the perspective of a molecule or an ant or a, uh, another person or a chair or an animal or, you know, just, I did it uh, billions upon billions of times. Uh, and this happened very, very quickly. I mean, we're not, we're not talking hours or minutes or anything. I mean, this talk, this happened in split seconds. Because once I got the hang of it, I could do it really, really fast. And then I started pulling back and I would see things like uh, the experience of, say, a family or a clan or a mountain or, you know, bigger stuff, bigger groupings. Eventually, I got bored with that and I moved back even further. And this is where I was in classically where we are now. And that's the fourth dimension. So I'm going to stop here because the fourth dimension is going to be a whole video on its own because it's so huge. But hopefully that's a beginning point that will answer a few more questions or be a little bit more clear than I was the first time in explaining this part of my death experience. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.